Man, it's so great to stay home. Uh, our kids love running at home and, and nobody more than me. And uh, we're doing our schedules now and people are trying to get us to come to these fancy meets next year and we're still staying. No, we're going we're gonna to keep doing what we're going to do. So really neat to, to be able to stay home. And you, you mentioned how in the indoor a lot of people are wanting to come here. Do you think next year in the outdoor you'll get more at home or about the same or anything about that? We're hoping to add one more home meet and try to have three. Maybe have one early April. Uh, you never know with the weather what you'll get. And then we've just been so lucky uh, the last two or three years having at the end of May and or beginning of May and trying to figure out if uh, that's the best time in Lubbock to have. We've had no win two years in a row, so it's been pretty nice. Hey, this this meet last week, a lot of personal best. Did you see a, a different focus or a different drive of this team? Was there anything really different about this last week? I'll tell you what last week uh, kind of set up for us is we've got the Big 12 championships this week, and that meet is one of the few scored meets we do with Nebraska, K-State, and Wichita State. Nebraska is the perennial. They, they give an award, the national champion for quadranglers or duels in the country. And, and today we won that. They came out with that today by beating Nebraska this weekend. And what it did, they're, they're just really good. And Gary Pepin's my great friend. Uh, it, it helps kind of get that mentality for next week. And our distance runners knew they had to beat them the last, next to last race of the day. And they went one, two, our guys. And, and you know, everyone knew what was going on. Our four by four was ready to run with the A team or the B team. And we were just depending on what we were going to do. And so I love seeing that spirit among the kids. and and planning to win and, and everybody helping out. Is it nice to be able to have so many kids resting this weekend, the week before you head off to Big 12s? Yeah, we are about to really hit a tough uh, section of our, our year. And so we have to go run two hard days at Big 12. And then we've got to rest 10 days and go to out to California for the first round of the NCAA for three days. And then hopefully uh, at Eugene for another, you know, four days. So. It's a really tough stretch, uh, and so I'm, I really think we've got to get as fresh and get any bumps and bruises and, and that type thing well before we go next week. How pleased are you just with the position of where your team is right now? And you've obviously just been really confident about how strong this team is outdoor, but are they exactly where you want them to be? Well, you're never where you want to be. Uh, we've got a couple of little injuries that, you know, bother me, but uh, I think we'll have most of them ready for next week. But uh, uh, Overall, I think we're in pretty good shape. And I'm sure other teams have some of the same things, so you, you don't always know where they are, but everyone's got, you know, when you have 120 kids, you've got four or five that, that aren't 100%. Who is, uh, who, who's coming here this week? Well, it's a real small meet. I mean, I think you've got uh, South Plains and Wayland and, and us and uh, maybe Abilene Christian, and then you've got just a bunch of pieces of Mac Murray, Hardin Simmons. It's a real small, low-key meet, a New Mexico Junior College. I think it's kind of important to that junior college group, Western Texas. Uh, they're going to really try to have some good marks. But uh, most of our, some of our field events are, are going. I think all our throwers are throwing, but most of our, our runners uh, are going to rest. That's, that's not fighting for a position to get into the Big 12 meet. What about Trey? Trey will rest. We'll rest him up. What happened with him last week? Well, I, I think he just uh, was was a little bit off. He kept coming off his curve and, uh, you know, wasn't going vertical. And I think he quite he couldn't quite figure it out, you know, during the competition. Then when he, when the meet was over, he looked at the film and go, oh, my goodness, why was I doing that? And so uh, he's already, I think, fixed it in practice. And, uh, you know, I, I think it, just, it was one of those things that just happened to him. You know, and, and, and unfortunately, uh, I always tell him that he's nothing but big time. The, the, the smaller the meat, the worse he always is. You put him in a big competition and he's going to get after you. So uh, I think he thrives on that. Does Werner still have the neck issue? Or? Yeah, Werner's neck, you know, he, he's had a little, he slept on it wrong and then it got really bad. And we've just been really careful trying to get him well. And uh, he, he had some swelling in his neck. and. So uh, I don't really know all the extent of it, but it's it's really looking good this week, and we're just being real cautious. We we want to go into Big 12 with him 100%, and a javelin arm's like a baseball pitcher, kind of. You got to have fresh arms, going to be better. So uh, I think he'll be fine. Um, yeah, I guess are you kind of looking at the bottom of the roster also for people for your 32 to take to uh, Big 12? Yeah, no doubt. That's the people that are going to try to run this weekend or try to prove to me that they deserve to go and. You get to that 30th spot, 31, 32, there's two or three on the bubble, and 
on the men and the women's side. So I'm, I'm anxious to see three or four kids compete this weekend and, and see see how they do. Um, actually, from my got here, I feel like I've grown really well um, under the wings of Coach Thomas. I feel like I'm, I developed really into a good athlete. You have really taught me a lot and I feel really accomplished. And to be able to have somebody like Charles who just has had a spectacular year and a really good year here at Tech, how do you feel like he has made you better? Um, actually, like every time we get on the runway, either in practice, condition, like he's always competitive. So I think he and Justin really pushed me to my limits and he had helped me to PR. And two personal bests this last week, what is it? that you can have like such a good meal like that. Was there anything different this last week that really pushed you? Um, actually, I think it was just the energy and the environment. Like we were all out there, we were all getting hyped. And they really just was, the energy was really great out here this weekend. Do you feel that this team is like growing with their energy and their confidence as each week goes? Yes, I think so. In what ways, specifically? Um, Maybe just getting more comfortable as the season's gone on? No, we, 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 I don't think we need to get complacent, but we just, um, just keep the vibes going keep that good energy, keep positivity, and I think that helped us to grow together as a team. Do you have any superstitions? Um, no. None? Superstitions, mm. <laughs> no, I'm not clicking right now. <laughs> okay. Have you, had, have you normally been more of a better long jumper or triple jumper? Um, actually, I was a better triple jumper, but since I got here, like, long jump just kind of outgrow my triple jump, so, but, Triple jump is kind of my favorite event, but now, anytime I get on the runway, I just do this one that come to me at that time. What have you kind of done to uh, get your triple You said the other day that you're kind of getting your rhythm back in the triple jump. What are you kind of do, working on form or technique-wise? Um, basically, we're just working on technique, just getting the timing right. season has been really rough. It's just not coming to like a coming together because like I'm a freshman I had to get used to like practicing consistently because coming out of high school I practiced when I wanted to so I had to get used to the process and at first I wasn't trusting it but I started trusting it and then 20.9 happened. Um, I, I think it was mostly my team like the atmosphere was just really great and I was pumped I seen Another freshman go out there, 20.3, Chelsea. She jumped 20.3, so I was like, okay, yeah, I got to go get it now. And I assume in high school you probably did a bunch of events, and now you're kind of narrowing it down to a couple of events. Is that correct? Uh, no, no I still, I'm still a heptathlete, but I'm just oh, going to focus on all my opens right now. What all did you do in high school? What uh, I did the 4x4, 300 hurdles, 100 hurdles, high jump, and long jump. Did you have a favorite or one that you were kind of better at or more known for? No, I was good at all of them, so I really didn't. It's just whatever day it was, that was my favorite. How was throwing the javelin for the first time this week? Um, It was it was good. It went good. I did everything he told me to do. He wasn't, like, upset or anything. You had mentioned just kind of some of the transitions that have come along this year, just with track in particular, but what other changes do you feel like have you know, been um, the whole not being around my parents thing, that was kind of tough, but I mean, I adjusted well. It was just like, you just got to learn how to be mature. Are there any events in the Hep that were surprising to you, you know, you just kind of found yourself being more naturally gifted at, or you know, events like the javelin you haven't done before that maybe challenged you a lot? Shot put challenged me a lot. I still suck. <laughs> but I'm getting better, so. So is part of that, like, finding, whenever you're talking about, like, the practice and every day and just being away from family, is part of that just finding your own drive and your own, uh, own motivation on a day-to-day -day basis? Or what is that biggest part of it, like, overcoming? Um, yeah, it's like being motivated to come out and practice. Like, I just, you just got to really want it to do it. And, like, I feel like if I didn't have, like, the people I came in with, like, the group of freshmen, I probably would have just been, like, forget it. But I feel like they like keep me motivated with everything. Who else on the team is helping motivate you? Um, well, in the, throughout the freshman group, it's Kayla Harris, Deja Gordon, Chloe Cavazos, Chelsea Cole, and then some of the people. Like most of the jump group helps me like stay motivated. I talk to like Trey and Peyton all the time if I'm having like problems with anything. And 
Is it nice to see the reward as far as the ranking continually go up every week? Yes, it's very nice. I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of the win. Is that something you guys look at, though, that kind of as a team you want to see that ring go up, or do you kind of ignore it until later in the year? Well, we do want to see it go up, but right now we just, like, focused on Big 12 because throughout the national ranks we, like, number three within the Big 12 teams, and we feel like the girls' side can really just go out there and win.